Hello there wonderful Minecraft addicts! I wanted to do a tutorial for you today because there are people that apparently do not understand the basics of this stuff and it's not that you're idiots or something I just feel that you are completely ignorant okay so listen up people and try to understand it before you do it not just copy it okay so I'm gonna do this step by step and explain every little bit because I want you to understand it and think okay don't just copy it uh, now what we are going to do here we're going to do an infinite water source as we can uh, as we know from playing a lot of Minecraft if you put two water sources like this one over here and one over here it creates an infinite water source in the middle and only the water source in the middle is infinite okay so if I take for example this one over here this is not infinite also this one is not infinite only this one replenishes itself every single time okay so what do we want to do? We want to make water mills, get buckets full of water in, uh, so they can produce energy to store in a bad box, okay? Or some other kind of, I don't know, maybe an F MFU or an MFSU. So in order to get those uh, buckets in there, we would maybe do something like um, I don't know if you if we would use only Billcraft for example we couldn't do it <laughs> we could do maybe with uh, additional pipes yeah that might be a functional setup in a way but the easiest way is just to do it with um, and my Minecraft just froze there with that a little bit it's just to do it with red power okay so how to do it with the red power uh, first of all we need to fill up our buckets okay just like that and send it down the line to the water mills now in order to do this this action that I'm doing now with right clicking red power has a thing a machine called a deployer now this uh, deployer oh, pardon me is basically a machine okay with an in internal storage a small internal storage okay okay nine and we have to fill this guy up like that and if we give it a redstone signal it fills up it basically right clicks the, I the, the first item in its uh, inventory okay so as you can see we have a water bucket and if we give it again a red signal the water bucket just got emptied because it's basically the same action as we would do okay um, fill the water bucket empty the water bucket fill the water bucket empty the water bucket okay so we don't want that we want it to fill the water bucket and that water bucket to get uh, sent down the line now in order to do this red power provides another machine and of course I do not have a screwdriver another machine called a filter now what a filter does um, it gets from an adjacent uh, inventory whatever you tell it to get okay so we want him to get only filled water buckets from this inventory over here okay so let's try this just for a little bit to see as you can see that was powered so it pulled out a filled water bucket so let's do that again and again another one and again please and there you have it 
Okay, let me just empty these guys over here and put them back in the deployer one by one. All right. So that's pretty nice so far. We have some tubes here. We'll make a line. Maybe put a watermill in the in the end. Okay. Connect that water mill with some sort of cable if we can find some. Okay, and maybe a bat box on the end just for now. There we go, and a bat box at the end. Let me just turn out day. Okay, and see what happens now. Nice, so the water bucket is getting in there, but now if we power it again, what the hell happens? Well, apparently nothing happens because uh, the filler sees that uh, there is no space for the next water bucket. So it doesn't uh, transmit the, wa the water bucket uh, down the line, okay? The water bucket stays in here. Alright, we just emptied that guy up. Nice. So we need a way to get that, uh, uh, that water bucket out of there. So that comes... That uh, help comes from another guy from Red Power called the Retriever. Now, what the Retriever does, it searches... Oh, come on! Yeah. <laughs> it searches for all the inventories in the in the in the tubes ad adjacent to the tubes for the the thing that you tell it to retrieve so i wanted to retrieve an empty bucket from wherever <laughs> okay um and it will do that from uh, from a distance okay so it doesn't have to be adjacent to the inventory like the filter does for example all right now the retriever is a little bit tricky. Let me just get that up there because it needs power. These are the power gadgets. Yeah, so it needs power in order to function. Uh, that's where this battery box come in, uh, comes into place. And in red power, for now, there is a solar panel that you can. Um, that can provide the uh, power and also there is a thermopile if I'm not mistaken but we'll not get into that for now so as you can see there is a little smidget of power over here and that power also um, gets into the retriever but we'll cheat a little bit because we can and get some power in here not that one this other one all right and another one please and there you have it people oh come on bam 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 thank you ma'am and now the retriever has enough power to run so let's see what happens now when we put the red signal into this guy Okay, so we let's check double check so empty bucket gets retrieved the deployers has enough empty buckets and this also retrieves a full filled bucket let's see what happens now when I power this baby up okay I don't know if you can see this, but the retriever retrieves uh, the empty buckets from the line and it puts them at the back. So we need them to go in the deployer again. And we do that with a simple uh, redstone tube from here. Alright, let's just empty this guy, this guy up a little bit. And now I think this water mill here is filled but no worries it's uh, it gets emptied pretty quick so let's see again okay the empty bucket it uh, gets pulled out 
and gets transferred into the deployer of course and when I stop that signal the filter transmits the water bucket in here so that's the basic system as you can see over here it's identical okay now we will automate this process with a timer let's just put that on 5 seconds and basically the timer does every 5 seconds what we did by hand by now alright and of course you can uh, extend the system and put a lot more water mills in here like that and maybe do something like this or on top there is no difference or like that yeah there's absolutely no difference so yeah as you can see these guys get uh, buckets and that's the the whole system now uh, you might have seen Direwolf's uh, Let's Play where he basically is annoyed by this ticking clock and doesn't want the clock to run the timer to run when there is no energy produced by these water mills okay because this bag box uh, eventually gets filled uh, there is no uh, machine running to drain that power and these water mills don't produce any more uh, energy all right but uh, this timer goes on and on and on and in order to do that simple task we have a EU detector in industrial craft okay that goes like that it emits a redstone signal uh, let me just get some redstone on inverter where's the rest on here it is and maybe a repeater okay repeater um actually we can uh, if you're not uh, keen to use the red power repeater you can as, uh, just as well use the um, um normal vanilla repeater okay so let's see about doing this bam bam thank you ma'am uh, do I want to do it over here I think I do yes 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 Okay, so this is the basic setup. You have an inverter over here with this redstone uh, torch, a repeater. Now I used uh, vanilla um, um, items over here because they're actually much cheaper, but of course they're not. Uh, you can't put them on walls, and if you want a more complex system and or you need more space. Uh, you would have to use uh, repeaters and maybe a NOT gate uh, from Red Power to do that. So let's just wait for this guy to get filled. And when it gets filled, let's see what happens. There you go. So that doesn't drain any more energy. This stops. The EO detector detects no more energy on the line. That stops. The NOT gate does its job and inverts the signal. And there you go. The timer is stopped. And that's a little bit of a automation if you want. And as soon as this... Uh, oh, come on. And maybe an MFE. 
yeah and as soon as this guy releases more energy the timer is released and it produces uh, the cycle repeats itself okay as simple as that okay guys this is about it for this tutorial I really hope you learned it because um, this uh, machine this setup can be used on uh, geothermal generators I always forget how they're called I'm sorry uh, and basically instead of having uh, this infinite water source here you would have uh, a Billcraft um, uh, tank filled with lava okay so you can bring the lava from another um, from a lava lake somewhere and into a Billcraft tank and this deployer just gets that lava out of the tank and is the same the same setup that uh, you see in here you just use the lava tank over here um, please rate comment and subscribe and as always don't forget to be awesome ciao